And he, he <laughs> passed around six six years ago or so. And Who was your dad? Raymond Trombley. He used to be the, the elder for the Assembly First Nations. Okay, and stuff. okay, yeah. yes. I go back that far. It was like when Graydon Nicholas became, became lieutenant judge. Governor. Yeah, well, a lieutenant governor. He stood there at the news conference and said, Susan and I go back a very long time. And I go, <laughs> thank you very much. All right, first of all, your name and I guess your position or how do you want to term yourself? Uh, well, my name is Ron Trombley and the uh, Worcester Grand Council uh, gave me the title of being uh, um, the runner. Not a, a physical runner because, you know, uh, but, but a runner as to pass on messages per community. So I'm kind of the contact person between the communities to what's going on here and so on. So the, the Grand Chief and, and, and the Clan Mothers gave me that title. So, What is planned for here? What's going to happen? What we're going to ask is all the communities to bring their um, teepees here so, so we can have all of the communities uh, represented. So by the uh, November 5th, all the teepees hopefully will be erected and then we're going to have our Grand Council meeting um, here, here during that day. And we want to, to invite the, uh, the Premier and his, uh, his cabinet to come to our government structure, the very first government structure that was here in uh, most of territory. So. so how long are you planning to stay? How long to make your point? And your point is like a moratorium on shale gas, is that right? Yes, we're going to um, take our, our guidance from the people, as the Grand Chief and, and Elected Chief says, we're taking guidance from the people. And, and we're, um, that's how true uh, um, democracy form, and that, that's what we, uh, we, uh, we uh, guess, follow. I guess the question, you know, there was what happened a week and a half ago in Rexton. Mm -hmm. This going to be different? Oh, much, much different. We're going to, our, our total focus is on peace and friendship and unity and solidarity. We are um, not uh, protesters, we are not warriors, we're protectors. That's what our, our, our main message is going out to uh, all, you know, all people. And as a protector, what is your concern about shale gas development? I know we've heard it before, but I'd like to hear from you. Where do you, where, where do you stand? What is your big concern? Personally, my my big uh, like like what my concern is because we're the Wolostokawi, which which are the people of the beautiful river here, is that our obligation is is to protect water, and and we take uh, direction from the clan mothers and the grandmothers because they're the ones who carry that, uh, that um, I guess, that responsibility and, and we take uh, direction from them. Now you are on city-owned property right now. I mean, do you think if they move to ask you to leave, what do you do? Well, as a Wolostuk person, this is Wolostuk territory. And that's all I have to say about that. Do you just want shale gas to be just put a stop to it, or do you want shale gas out of here, those people? Meditorium or out of here? Gone. Gone? Period. Yeah. Period. When, when was the last problem? time you remember all these uh, First Nations coming together like this? Um, never. Since I'm, I'm, I'm 52 years old and I haven't recalled the event that, that we had here uh, yesterday where all the communities and the leaders were all on, on the same page with, with the traditional government. That was pretty, pretty powerful. And, and watching all the leaders holding it like hands, and meaning that they all...